Well, yesterday we gave you a brief history lesson about the former K.I. Sawyer Air Force Base. Today we're giving you a look at what the area is like now. Fox UP's Kelsey Nemesdo has more in part two of her series, K.I. Sawyer, than and now. Kelsey? Ben, what was once a thriving population of over 10,000 people is now just a community of around 3,500 people. When the K.I. Sawyer Air Force Base closed down in 1995, the area was abandoned and desolate. But then, just over 10 years ago, the rebirth of Sawyer began. When I drove in and saw what the facility, the area looked like, oh, this is going to be a great place to live because of the space. That was the first thing that, that hit me. When Dale moved to K.I. Sawyer 10 years ago to finish his education at Northern Michigan University, he went in blindly. He had never been to the market area before, but needed an inexpensive place to live. At first, he said it was anything but ideal, primarily due to the people. The crime rate was high because the turnover of renters was high as well. Neighbors, it was one of those scenarios where at the early stages, I had a lot of different neighbors over a period of time. It was high transition of people. In some cases, it was less than uh, two months, and I'd have a new neighbor. But it all changed after a while. As time went on, Trendley says Sawyer began to improve. Crime had gone down, and neighbors have become more stable. As time has gone on and people are staying, that stability has changed that attitude. The stigma still holds because it's, and that's the way people look at things. They look at things from a long term. But in terms of living in the community, I've seen the change. Peggy Noah moved to Sawyer in 2005 after she fell in love with a house in the community. She says since she's been there, she's seen many improvements too. I noticed that there wasn't as much crime at night and the, some of the kids were in at curfew. There wasn't kids running the roads anymore like there used to be. You didn't hear too many drug busts or anything like that going on out there. They were, it was nice to know that at night that there was somebody there that was always there when you needed them. Both Trenley and Noah say there are tremendous improvements at Sawyer in the last few years. There's a community garden, a newer elementary school, a park, and so many other things to be proud of. Bob Strzok says now the next step is for the community to show the rest of the UP how things have changed, so Sawyer may be stripped of its negative reputation. I believe that the thing that would have the most influence on the reputation of the community is the perspective of the community itself. Any community has to appreciate what they have, know what they have, and then be willing to promote it and be willing to say that, yes, this is a good community. Now, the residents of Sawyer say they have a wonderful community and want people to visit and see for themselves. They have a, they have a new neighborhood watch, and members say it has helped drop the crime rate even more. Now, to find out more about the positive things going on at Sawyer, you can visit our website, UpperMichiganSource.com, and come back tomorrow to see part three where we look at the future of KI Sawyer. That's right. You know, we do the, we do the past, um, present, and now going on, moving on to the future. Is there anything people can expect from that? They have big plans. You'll just have to watch tomorrow night. All right. Thanks, Kelsey.